Hello and welcome to the video. So for the past two years, I've been wearing barefoot shoes. I've worn Vivos, Zeros, sandals. I've even worn those sock thingies. Anyway, there's one thing that I've never tried and that's actually going barefoot completely. So I thought while we're here in Germany, no better place than to go barefoot in Bavaria. So I don't really know what to expect. If my feet will fall off, if I'm gonna get some funny looks, even if I'll get into trouble as we head into the German city. So I've taken some emergency sandals just in case the police tell me to put shoes on. I mean, I don't actually know what the, the law is with wearing shoes. It's really early in the morning now. So we're gonna go for some coffee. Okay. Yeah, it's a weird feeling. You can feel everything. He does to do this. He does it all day long, but he doesn't do it in an establishment. So I think that's going to be the big challenge for you today. His feet are pretty hardy, Tom Hardy. I don't do it all the time. I try and go barefoot occasionally if it's possible, but never in civilization. No, but when as soon as we're not in civilization. Yeah, I whip them off. Oh, this bit's going to be good. <laughs> is already starting to wear off after all those pebbles and it's actually my feet are freezing as well it's, it's like really cold. The, the first day that's not been like 40 plus degrees i think it's only 20 degrees i feel like when it's sunny as well you can be like oh i've just forgot to put my flip-flops back on but like when it's generally what genuinely you cold you say you stepped in a puddle That is train number one done, and now we're on our way to get some coffee. I didn't get any funny looks actually. So maybe... um, because he had his feet hidden under the seat. <laughs> you gotta be smart in this barefoot game. Weinen. No, zwei. Zwei. <laughs> Kaffee, creme, gross. Bitte. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we're back at the train station ready to head into town um, ordering the coffee wasn't too bad i think me trying to speak German was way more embarrassing than not having any shoes on. Patiently waiting for our train. They always seem to be late here in Germany, kind of like England, but they do. The train is here, off we go. Okay, so we survived another train journey. That one was actually really hectic. It was like there's an apocalypse going on and people are surviving for their rights to even get onto the train. So it actually taken the pressure off my feet, to be honest. And then I was <laughs> burst, see your feet. absolutely bursting for the toilet. So I had to run to the toilet and that was a time when you think I should probably have something on my feet. Yeah, we are now in Bamberg. Bamberg? Mm -hmm. And we're gonna go and find some food. Yay. Sun's trying to come out. And the sun's come out. Trying. Sun's out, feet. Trying, out. trying. Good to see you then. Okay, so we got our food. It was a bit easier than anticipated as we ended up going to a street vendor, but look what we stumbled upon. We got pomes, bratwurst, and a burger. First bratwurst this trip. Really like meat tasty, almost like when we used to get top oh. turkey. Oh my god! Lovers. This is the classico with a seitan burger and a week's worth of salad. They're good. Mm. Yeah, I didn't even get any burger and it was tasty. Do a little time lapse. Do you want the rest of my hot dog? Yes. Yeah, I've got all of these pomes to eat. 100%, yeah. 
So that was absolutely phenomenal. If anyone's ever been to New Zealand in Queenstown, my burger literally tasted like a Ferg burger. Mine was really good, literally tasted like eating New Zealand. So literally don't really know what else to do now. The barefoot thing I thought was going to be way more one painful and two more embarrassing. You haven't been in a shop yet though. So we'll now to take you in a shop. I'm going to have to go into a shop, I guess. I bought coffee. I bought a burger. Let's buy a... I know, it's different. Let's buy a Coke. Okay, this is it. The pinnacle of being barefoot. We're going in a supermarket. So we've gone to three different supermarkets and to be honest they're all very accepting and no one even batted an eyelid to be honest so we're going to make our way back to the train station now. Loretta wants me to go into a clothing store and try some shoes on but maybe in another video. I think I've done enough for today. Just waiting for the train and eating a balanced lunch. These are actually way nicer than they look, by the way. Not a great combo. <laughs> Just on our way home after a full day of being barefoot and this is the hardest part, definitely. The, s the stones. Even me though, with my flip-flops, this bit's the hardest because stones get inside. My flip-flops are only like <laughs> a millimetre. Oh. Ah. It's actually not too bad, but not optimal. We've nearly done it though. Barefoot in Bavaria. Barefoot hiking next. That'd be a challenge, I think. Right, get my flip-flops back now. What? <laughs> Pete's not allowed in the van until he cleans his feet. Show us your feet. They can't be that bad, can they? So, is it easier if you turn around, kick them up? You know what? They've actually got cleaner since you've been on this dusty road. I'm glad I got some footage of them earlier. They're not so bad. I'm 100% not putting this in the video. <laughs> no, not even this bit. Yeah, that bit will go in. So we did it guys, we'd lasted the whole day in Bavaria in bare feet and to be honest it was all right, it was bit of anti-climax if anything. I thought my feet were going to be absolutely killing me, that people were going to get staring at me weird, maybe I wouldn't be allowed to get onto the train and literally nothing really happened. I feel like I got more looks when I wore the bare socks around my hometown than I did the whole day today in Germany. I thought it'd be a fun experiment. I do wear barefoot shoes and I really wanted to see if there was any difference just wearing bare feet and not really to be honest which is really eye-opening. More than anything doing things like this it really pushed me out my comfort zone. Walking around in barefoot looking different you do get some people looking at you and I think it is good to do things that make you feel a bit awkward, make you feel you know oof. Will I be doing it again in the future? Probably not. I guess the main reason why we do wear shoes is how dirty your feet get so from a hygiene sanitary point of view it's probably not the best thing to do and also go into the toilet I didn't get on film but that was a bit of a low point for me anyway I hope you enjoyed the video I'm gonna go and wash my feet so Loretta will let me in the van I'll see you guys in the next one oh my gosh just flick me the way to win the light my foot. Yeah. Look me the bottom of your foot. Oh, oh my.